Just like Happy Kid, it's the only other time I ran home. I had something. I had the verses. Watching terrible TV kills all thought, getting space as an astronaut. I had a, a bit of that stuff. But I was in McCarran Park, which was near my house in, in Brooklyn. Really crowded Saturday, a lot of people around, sitting on a park bench. And I finally could kind of see it being inside it, talking about love as a, as a place that I could be below, that I could look up at you know, uh, that there would be gates around, like a park, I guess, maybe because I was sitting in a park, I don't know. Uh, But I sprinted home. Again, really crowded. I I had to weave through people because I could feel that I kind of had that melody and I was going to lose it. Watching terrible TV, it kills all fun. Getting spacey event. An astronaut. I don't have incredible memory. I was very impressed by, uh, you know, Noel Gallagher. The first couple of um, Oasis records, he said that he he never put anything on cassette or anything. He said, if it's good, I'll remember it. I have none of that confidence (laughs) at all. (laughs) I will forget it. Uh, Anyway, so I sprinted home. I had a, I can't find it now. I had a red, uh, red hundred dollar Dan Electro six string that I really like to play sitting on my sofa unplugged. Um, I mean, the impetus of the song is just pretty clear. I've always wanted a, family and I've always wanted to be married. Um, but I was also really scared of it. Uh, my parents didn't have a great marriage, so I was very afraid of getting it wrong from living inside their uh, not great marriage. I could see how, how sort of harrowing it could be if it wasn't, wasn't right. I knew the course was going to be about that. It was about, I had a yearning, you know, a yearning to be in love and to know love and to know love that wasn't scary, to be inside it rather than trying to get in it or or out of it, you know, um, just to be in it and safe and happy and love and be loved, you know. Um, but I didn't know how to express that. Making out with people. There's something about some weird chords in the second verse that I'd sort of stolen from a bossa nova song, but kind of in reverse. I think um, "Quiet Night of Quiet Stars." Uh, there's some shape in there that I that I was trying to cop. And then the only other change in that song, so that bit that sounds like a bridge. I know the last page so well. I can't see the first. It's getting worse. That that part, the chords creep up. That's that's where the bossa nova chord is. That used to be the chord pattern of the entire song. That happened two times a verse during the whole song until we got to Palindrome, the studio where we were recording. And finally, thank God, it occurred to me that the problem was that the song was too fussy. So I took all those chords out and it just reduced itself to a three chord song for the verses. It's just three chords. And so that was much better. (laughs) Anyway. And part of the impetus for fixing it came from a deadline. And the deadline was that we were recording there. And I have a friend, Danny Goldfield, who had a friend from film school who wanted to make a video. And she said, okay, I want to do a video for you. Is next weekend okay? And we're like, you know, it's going to be free. So I think pretty pretty free, at least. We're like, sure, of course. Uh, What song? And we thought that was the best candidate. But I also knew there was, maybe we all collectively also knew there was something wrong. Like there was a fussiness, a fastidiousness in it. It was overcooked. 
So that gave us the the deadline fever to to fix it. So I I think it probably wouldn't have been fixed as effectively if if it weren't for that deadline. Can't find my way.